Good evening. We begin with a debate in Canada over the use of a frozen pond. Residents who maintain it say it's an important spot for skating and the community. The city warning the pond isn't safe. CTV's Sean Varden joins us now with the details. Sean. Leah, for decades a community in Canada has used the local stormwater pond as a place to gather and enjoy winter sports. Ottawa bylaws saying they have been getting complaints about the use of the pond and this weekend stepped up enforcement. Eric Ladine loves hockey. This pond, home ice since he was a kid. I was playing hockey uh, with my dog. A bylaw officer came and uh, asked me to leave the beer pond and asked me for my information. After that, Ottawa bylaw gave him a $125 ticket for trespassing. It's an absurd ticket and uh, I'm not sure why they would be shutting down such a nice place. Neighbors say the pond was a sanctioned skating surface until amalgamation. The community stepping up to maintain it. I honestly thought, is it April 1st yet? It's just frustrating to see my tax dollars being used to give teenagers a ticket for enjoying an outdoor activity. A winter gathering place for the community. Dedicated volunteers monitoring conditions. There's about, uh, let's say, 10 core guys that come out here very often and, and help out. It's our own kids skate out here, uh, so we want to make sure that everything is safe. The city says the pond is not safe for skating. This isn't your typical uh, backyard pond. This is, this is actually a, a stormwater pond. It's a stormwater facility, um, which has with it, um, you know, increased risks because of the, uh, the water flow. In an email sent to the family, Kathy Curry, the area councillor, saying in part, at beaches and swimming areas, there are signs that say swim at your own risk or attention no lifeguards on duty. I will ask bylaw staff if there is the option to change the signs. We're your citizens. Work with us. Find a way to, to meet halfway to make sure that we're collaborating together so that this can be enjoyed safely for everyone. It's a great place for the community and it's a place where family and friends can have lots of fun and bond together. Volunteers maintaining the ice say they regularly check the ice thickness. According to them, this week it was 24 inches. Leah? CTV Sean Varden reporting live for us tonight. Thanks.